the river Stour, Sudbury to the Henny Swan Inn. I've come east to Sudbury in Suffolk with my wife Claire. We wanted to do this trip because we wanted a paddle and pub. It was exciting to be able to explore the upper navigation with a gentle paddle to the Henny Swan Inn and back. If you like this video, please subscribe on YouTube. The Stour is a river in East Anglia, England. At its full length, it is 47 miles long and forms part of the county boundary between Suffolk and Essex. Around 25 miles of the river is navigable. So you want to get out and carry this across then? So what? Right. A peaceful flat water meander through Suffolk countryside where you are almost guaranteed to see swans. The River Stour was made famous by the paintings of the artist John Constable. See if you can recognise any of his paintings as we go along. Right. This landscape became an inspiration for John Constable, captivated by scenes of all kinds of boats that he immortalised on canvas. The actual boating. Yeah. No, no, I think this is it. The weir should not be portaged unless you have a safety cover in place, and then it's shootable. <laughs> Well, let's just get. All right, getting in. Oh, this. We arrived at the guy. portage yeah. point, and my legs had gone numb. Stay tuned. Tim showed me how to do the side paddle. Right. Yeah. My legs were so numb, I realised that I couldn't get up and out on my own. So we asked some kayakers to help. Right, hold on, clip. Right. You just sit round, that's it. You don't have. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> Can you see that private jetty sign? Is it bad that I've only just seen that as I've been making this video? Yeah. The portage point was unexpectedly fun. It was great to be in the little woodland where people took to picnic tables to have a drink in the sunshine. Bliss. Do you want to get in here? Yeah. Okay. 
Right. That's it, that's it, that's it. Perfect. Very easy. Yeah. Right, put this by your feet. Pull it. Yep. And then you bottle the water. Uh, yeah. If you do your break. During the reign of Queen Anne in 1705, an act of parliament made the river Stour navigable from go. Suffolk to Essex. Easy. The River Stour Trust was set up on the 12th of September 1968 to protect and enhance the right of the public to navigate the river. Well, that and we can tie up the rope if we need to. If it's a point where we... Ah, the honey, honey, yeah. Well, we're definitely going the right way. We finally arrived at the Henny Swan Inn. Be careful not to go too far to the left, as there is a small <sighs> weir which you may shoot by accident. We did this trip in the afternoon, as we wanted to go out to the pub and be there for lunchtime. No, it's advisable to book in advance, as it can get very busy, especially on hot days. Moor up and have a drink, or if you have the time, enjoy some surprisingly good food. We stopped to meet with some friends, and we had some drinks, chips and onion rings, which were delicious. But we underestimated the time it would take to get there and back again in a rental boat. We hired this canoe for around three hours. Our thought process was that we'd have an hour to travel to the pub, an hour at the pub, and an hour paddling back. Next time, I'd take the canoe out for the day to give less time pressures. Several other rivers in the UK are called Stour. For example, there is a Stour in Dorset and one in Kent. Artifacts indicate that the land surrounding the Stour was populated from around 5,000 years ago. Right, I'm going to help again. Oh. Oh. I don't know why my leg's doing that, do you? The annual Sudbury to Sea event is organised by the River Stour Trust, where canoeists and kayakers work together to clean up the river. Search on Google to find out when the next date is and sign up. Yeah. The River Stour is home to many species of fish, including roach, chub, pike and perch, along with other aquatic creatures such as leeches, water boatmen and various insects. <sighs> This is the trip where I trusted a canoe more than I ever have in my life. I kind of felt safe-ish, and I was in my element. 
this is where I knew that my confidence could grow even more and I could accomplish things when I set my mind to it. Oh, bump. Oh, bump. Yes, Tim. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. I was, but I was thinking more that we would only use it if we. Had Much to. of this route is in a peaceful, yeah. relaxing, open countryside where it is possible to see various wildlife, both on and off the water. It is not uncommon to see swan nests by the banks of the river and it's not unusual to see between 10 and 15 swans in your path which you would need to navigate around. Yeah. At times it was hard to see because the sun was shining so brightly. At times, I just shut my eyes and paddled. <laughs> yeah. Well, cheers. You know, well, what's the word? Celebrate. Yeah, it's a great job. yeah. is it? It's a great job. Yeah, we're here. We're here because there's the church. And here's the pea soup coming up. Here's the pea soup. Yeah, all of that, this green weed. Oh no! What time is it? I'll apologise and just say that we underestimated the, the trail. A shot. This trip was an adventure and one I would definitely do again.
Yeah! We're back. One day, I'd like to come back and shoot the weir. Oh, thanks. Oh, that was hard graft, you know. I'm exhausted. Oh. We had a great day. There's nothing like being out on the water. Right, you take the camera off the edge, put it on yours. Just want to be recorded getting out. Do you need a hand out with it? No, it's alright. Okay, good. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube.